Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with his Wednesday expert, Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. So uh, one of the things I'm doing on my channel now is I'm paying people to slice and dice our stuff. And I don't know if you saw it, but I tagged you on it. Uh, they put out a short, a YouTube short. So I think it's a minute or less of you and I talking about PMI. Did you by chance happen to see that? I did not see it yet. Okay, very cool. Well, somebody replied to it just with a nasty comment that basically says PMI is garbage. It's thievery. It's all of this. <laughs> so I thought I would read it to you. And uh, we would just talk about PMI because maybe PMI is a total scam and it's only out there to make banks richer. I, yeah, I we'll, see, we'll, we'll see if I agree with this because I haven't seen the comment yet. Yeah, yep. so we'll see. My, but here we go. It's from reaction. Jeff. Well, here it's from Jeff. I won't say Jeff's last name, but if you want to see it, you guys can go to the YouTube short. PMI is still robbery. Name another insurance that you pay for the benefit and someone else pay for the benefit of someone else. Health insurance protects me. Car insurance protects me. Life insurance covers me. Homeowners, homeowners insurance protects me, but I have to pay PMI to protect the effing bank. It is total BS. He is a little bit passionate about this. Jeff. Right, right. Which I understand where yeah. he's coming from. And, and I realize sometimes, sometimes people don't understand things and that's why they're upset, you know? Yeah. So, so really like whether it's online or even sometimes in a, in a client conversation when they're, when they're angry, I know it's not really directed at me. And so I think, Oh yeah, of course he's that, not, ang he's not angry at either of us. He's angry at PMI taking a hundred bucks or 150 bucks yeah. in theory for someone else. And he's angry because he doesn't understand it. Um, and, and the simple explanation and what comes to mind for me is if you're putting down 5%, or you're putting down 20%, one thing that people don't realize is that the interest rate is going to be the same in most cases. Right. Um, sometimes, I don't know if you even know this, Mike, mm. you'll have a mortgage with PMI with a less of an interest rate. Oh, because they make up for the risk preference in the PMI. Exactly. And so for anybody Just wondering like, why mortgage insurance? Why do we have to do that? Well, if apples to apples a 5% down versus 20% down, both have a 3% interest rate. 5% down has that mortgage insurance element to it because mm -hmm. it's a higher risk loan. The right. bank's loaning 95% versus 80%. They're, they're at more risk of default, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so they could, in theory, and it's available, no PMI loans for 5% down are available. So See, this guy who hates oh, PMI, there you go. Go ahead and take 3.75. And you'll have a 3.75 interest rate. That rate reflects more risk to the bank. Therefore, they need more return. That's just how things work in uh, the I banking wanna, industry. I, I want to say that again, because I didn't even know that. So in theory, 5% down, you could do 5% down with PMI and 5% down without PMI. They're going to make up for the risk profile somewhere. Right. Without PMI, they're going to stick it on the interest rate. You, The only way out of that is to refi or sell the property. Exactly. You, you do it with 5% down with PMI. The numbers are probably the same, but PMI is something you can get rid of, right? You live there for two years. In theory, you could have it reappraised and have it removed. Is that exactly? And that's why like in this raising, you know, in this environment where home prices are appreciating, it doesn't make sense to take 3.75 because then oh. you have to refinance to come back down and rate. And, and, and then rates, rates are. <laughs> in two years, rates are going to be right. 5%. It ain't going to be fun. But there's multiple ways to do it. You can do <clears throat> I didn't uh, know uh, up, up front, like you can pay an extra three or four grand and buy out of it, okay. or you can do what's called lender paid MI. And the lender paid MI is similar where that three or four grand that a lender's paying up front, you know, in order to pay the same amount for the rate, you know, like a par interest rate, mm -hmm. you got to jack the interest rate up. And so that's interesting. I did not yeah. think it was. And, that and it's funny too, because that's awesome companies market, right? And yeah. so like, I've always seen it where it's like, we've got a product with 3% down or 5% down with no mortgage insurance. Come talk to us. It's a great thing. And people always tell me like, do you have that? Well, of course I have it. It's not something that we've been recommending for folks. Yeah, it's it usually not good for you. <laughs> right, right. But you know, that's the thing about PMI. For everybody who thinks that you have to put 20% down, you don't. But if you put less than 20% down and it's a riskier product to the bank, they're going to yeah. charge you a premium. That premium can be a higher interest rate that premium can be PMI, but versus being upset about it, yeah. maybe you should be like, you know what? I'm glad that I don't have to be rich and elite and save a hundred thousand to put 20% down on a house. I can put 3% down. I can put 5% down. Sure. The bank has to charge me a premium and, and it's PMI or higher interest rate, but it's available to me. 
And again, you can have either. You can, you, I, I love that because if, if you really don't want PMI and fibers and down, you can have it, but you're going to be locked into a rate that's higher than normal. And unfortunately, the only way to get out is to refi in a couple of years. And if rates are higher in a couple of years, you actually lose. PMI right. is something I, I, I actually had PMI on several of my properties when I first started. And it's a rel- again, different environment than 20 years ago, but it was relatively easy. I wrote a letter. They did a, um, a drive-by appraisal, I think is what it was called, or maybe it was online. I think it was drive-by then. And they, yeah, they removed it. It was a pretty easy process. Right, right. Yeah. And that's what we're recommending for most. Yeah. So when I thought about the lower rate. Yeah. So again, I love that I talk to my experts and I'm not out of my depth. So I I just, sometimes I feel smart for asking the smart people. Because when (laughs) I thought about PMI and I saw this comment, I'm like, because I saw it yesterday. I knew we were talking today. When I, when I looked at PMI, I thought it was a way for, for, like you said, not the elite, right? It's very hard to save 20% down. It just is with, right. with life going on, the rat race, the consumerism that we're all trained to do, it's tough. And what I saw PMI is a way to get the average Joe in. But like you say, it's riskier for the banks. So it's like, what do you want? Do you want, what I was like, okay, if we get rid of PMI, there's no 5% down. But what you're saying is, yeah, you can have 5% down. You're just going to pay for it one way or the other. So that Right. Awesome. And that's the thing too, is, is, is with FHA, with that program, they were taking that mortgage insurance and putting it in a bucket, you know, to, to mm-hmm. fend off defaults because a certain number are going to default yeah. when they saw that less were defaulting or they saw that, you know, they lowered yeah. the mortgage insurance premium on FHA loans. It's so all risk-based. I right, love that. Exactly. Very cool, man. Well, do me a favor. If somebody wants to reach out to you, maybe they have a California loan with PMI and they want to get out of it. Maybe they're looking to buy or purchase in California. How do you want them to reach out? I want everybody to go to greatmortgagebroker.com. We've realized that we're really going to take the the lead intake uh, process and make the client journey as smooth as possible. So no matter California, outside of California, if you're watching on One Rental at a Time or you're watching me on YouTube, go to greatmortgagebroker.com. I promise you it only takes 27 seconds to fill out six yeah, quick questions. 27 seconds. That's awful. <laughs> probably I, less than that. You could probably I, I do know. it let, let me know below, folks. If you go to greater, what is it again? <laughs> greatmortgagebroker.com greatmortgagebroker.com fill out the intake form i want to hear from you is it 27 seconds leave comments below right i know yeah i don't know how quick the jot form will allow you to go next question but i'd like to see if somebody can do it in less than 20 seconds i think it's possible (laughs) i think it's possible there you go well again folks you heard it here first matt the mortgage guy is with us every week he's actually in my new book i don't know if you've seen this let me see if i can find you in here i gotta order some copies of that i know that uh there you are oh look at that guy in color man in color. Yeah. That's why the book is so expensive, folks, is I I got it made in color. I had no idea that would jack up the cross. (laughs) There's a lot of color in this book. So I want to thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for being here weekly. Again, what is the URL? Greatmortgagebroker.com. And let them know you came from one rental at a time or ORAT or Zuber. It doesn't matter. Right. Take and, care and, of you. and before I was telling folks that, you know, some folks charge processing. I don't pass that on to one rental at a time community. I've made it part of my business now that literally no box a fees no lender fees in box a my Mm. plan is to do a lot more loans do them at a thinner margin so i'm you know going to be able to survive somebody who does two or three loans a month just can't do it as thin a margin as 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 we can but you know my plan is to get to a thousand fifteen hundred loans a year and um you know part of the the marketing or part, or part of my promise to folks is going to be really, really thin in box A. You're not going to see yeah. any lender fees from us. And again, folks, if you want to know what box A is, uh, Matt, the mortgage guy was gracious enough to add bonus content to my course, how to get started one rinse at a time. He explains all that. He shows you how to save thousands of dollars in a $300 course, which still blows my mind. That's like a pretty good return. Uh, so in the end, folks, I want to see him getting 20 to 25 people from one rental at a time every week. Uh, reaching out just to see what's what. You don't have to do the loan, but at least ask the question, see if it makes financial sense. The advice is always free. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Yep.